Welcome, Jesse Bates, to the show. Red Lewis, Jim Trotter here with you. Jesse, first off, congratulations. I've been one of the best safeties in the league for a long time now, spending that first five years of your career in Cincinnati. Now you get this new beginning in Atlanta. What ultimately attracted you to the Falcons? Yeah, man, I, I think that this uh, this division, man, is, is up in the air. Um, it's a lot of um, similar, you know, the similar situation that I was in going into year four with Cincinnati, um, you know, with, uh, like I said, a division that, you know, a lot of teams are trying to figure out who their identity is. And I think that um, here in Atlanta that uh, Coach Art has already established that and uh, I'm excited to continue to build on that and uh, try to elevate that as much as I can and um, come in here and do whatever I can to elevate this team, elevate this city and um, build bonds and memories that will last me a lifetime. Man. Jesse, first off, congratulations, man. I'm, I'm, I'm happy for you and your success. I wanted to ask you, take us through what it's like to be a free agent, a player who is one of the top at his position, at a, at a position of need that's tough to fill around the league. Is, is there anxiousness, nervousness, a, a level of expectation? What is that moment like or this period like for a player such as yourself? Yeah, man, it's, it's, it's something a day. I think that, you know, um, a lot of people pray for, a lot of people dream for this day to come. And uh, I don't think a lot of people think about all the anxiety and all the butterflies that also come with it. Um, yeah, I had so many. I, I took a nap before um, I got my phone call. So uh, that'll be my advice to, <laughs> to all the other free agents um, that's still on the board. Um, just, just uh, stay at peace, man. Just make sure you know. Um, who you are as a player, um, no matter um, you know what the situation, what the end uh, result is, just know that every year is a contract year in this league. Um, you look around, you see people get traded every every day. You see guys um, get released, um, all the above. And I think the mindset is, um, you know, take it day by day and uh, just be you. Jesse, was it Atlanta all the way for you? Was there ever a shot at going back to Cincinnati? What, what were your thoughts on how this all played out? Yeah, um, obviously, you know, Cincinnati is a place that, you know, made my dream come true um, in 2018. Um, you know, built tons and tons of relationships and bonds, um, you know, with the people there in Cincinnati. Um, so, yeah, it, it, it was very tough um, being able to, uh, up and leave um, that city because I know how much they've done for me. Um, but I'm very excited for the future uh, with the Falcons being able to, um, you know, give me um, what, not give me because I earned it. Because um, I think a lot of people um, tend to say, you know, this guy has been given uh, this contract. But no, there's a lot of, you know, sacrifice and a lot of time, sure. um, time away from family, loved ones that you miss out on. Um, to make this dream come true. But, um, yeah, I, I will say that it's just a blessing, like I said, um, to make it to this point. And I'm not done. Um, I feel like I haven't played my best ball. Um, so I'm just excited for the future and um, continue to uh, be the best Jesse Bates the third. To that point, Jesse, what are the Falcons getting in Jesse Bates the third? Yeah, um, like I said in the interview earlier today, um, you're going to get someone that's the same guy every day, um, whether that's the guy that's on the field in between the lines, whether that's the guy who um, shakes the cafeteria lady's hand. I'll, I'll be the same guy every day um, for this organization, um, for this community. Um, so, yeah. What are they getting on the field? Uh, I think, uh, you know, you got someone that has experienced, um, you know, I like to say I'm freshly 26 because these days, you know, your age is very important. Um, <laughs> and uh, I think that I've been able to experience all of it. Uh, I've been able to experience the bad my first, you know, three years in Cincinnati. Um, but being the same guy every day throughout that, that bad period and then transitioning over to the good, the good side of it. Um, you know, being able to have a, a leader in the locker room that, you know, no matter what, um, it's going to be there and, and keep people calm and poised on the field to, you know, make plays and eventually win football games here in Atlanta. Jesse, uh, you, you mentioned uh, your first couple of years in, in Cincinnati were, were met with some struggle, some frustration as you tried to work through that and get that mm -hmm. team to the point where they are now, where, where you're leaving and now going to Atlanta. 
a franchise very much looking to have that kind of Bengals type renaissance. Is that something you feel like is, you know, a reason why you are there in Atlanta and, and, and something that is attainable in the near term? Absolutely. Um, I think it's a realistic goal. Um, I think that not just the people um, in this locker room know that. I think you know the people in the same division know that as well. Um, but just excited to continue to build off that. Um, and, and being in such a great city um, like Atlanta, um, the people, I know what type of people are here. And um, it's similar to Cincinnati um, in an instance as far as the people and the um, the community around here. So, like I said, I'm very excited um, to be a part of something special again. Um, you know, whether that's whether that takes a year, or whether it takes two. Um, like I said, it's going to be a fun, a fun ride. Well, Jesse, congrats once again. Wish you all the best uh, now in your new destination as uh, one of the newest Atlanta Falcons. Thanks again, bud.